awesome. So, going to be doing a bit of recording for the uh, FITC Toronto. I figured I'd do a bit of recording of the actual event too. Uh, not that there's going to be a big, huge deal with it at all, but um, just for posterity's sake, see how things go. So, let me just close a few of these windows. Uh, I should be doing 1080, but uh, we will find out shortly. Um, so a bit about the setup here. Uh, today is my kind of like dress down day. So my HTML shirt, good headphones, all dialed in. Yes, this is pantyhose on coat hanger, but it's a, kind of a knockoff um, uh, pop filter. So uh, to record, I'm just going to go through and use uh, Audition. Adobe Audition, and I've got uh, the script up on a laptop beside me. So there's probably going to be background noise, a bit of processing and whatnot to, uh, to clean up the audio afterwards, but uh, hopefully this turns out. Um, actually, I might see, depending on how much audio that the, the microphone picks up of the fish tank as well, I might turn that off too. Uh, no, I do not want to pick up where I left off. So, um, file, new multi-track session and I think I had named it um, FITC Toronto session something or other oh no I didn't keep the session names okay um, I'll just keep it there for now uh, FITC Toronto 2013 Session 02. Sample rate is fine. Mono is fine. Template none. Perfect. Perfect. So, new audio file, and this is technically speaking, Topher Bullock for Sunday it needs to be redone because there's a new one, and I was calling that uh, 0301 v2 or v1. So 01, 03 dash 01 v1 uh, v2 Topher Bullock OCK. So I'm gonna yeah maintain the the stereo. That is off. And okay, that let us try. Uh, quickly, however, to double check my output is Yeti. Yes. And awesome. So, welcome back, everyone. Okay. Oh, sample rate and audio devices do not match. What? What? Edit. Preferences. Audio hardware. Audio hardware input. Ah, uh, Yeti. Yes, and okay, that. Make sure. Awesome. That is working. That is working still. Perfect. So, welcome back, everyone. Our next presenter is Topher Bullock, an agile engineer at Extreme Labs where he works predominantly on front-end engineering for mobile and desktop web applications. He is obsessed with JavaScript and is a major believer in the un... Fuck. Gah! So good. Duh. I should see if I can do an, uh, a nice little... Hmm, possibly... Can, ooh, that's definitely not what you want. Uh, bah, 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 bah. But if I do, I think uh, this one, and then we'll delete that. And instead of doing this, we will do add screen region. There we go. And bring that completely out. And bring it down here. OK. So now, technically speaking, this should be going back and forth. Great. So 
this is kind of like the, the Wirecast setup that I have up here. No, sorry, Wirecast. Uh, Adobe Audition setup I have. Um, not much customized, essentially just the multi-track up in the one and the waveform in the other. And I just try to record, so. Welcome back, everyone. Nope, don't like that one. Welcome back, everyone. Our next presenter is Topher Bullock, an agile engineer at Extreme Labs, where he works predominantly on front-end engineering for mobile and desktop web applications. He is obsessed with JavaScript and is a major believer in the coming solidification of HTML5 and ES6 standards. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Topher Bullock. Cool. Uh, and now I just go back and I do things like remove this tiny little bit, which is the click of the keyboard, or the actually the the click up of the keyboard because it's a mechanical keyboard. Uh, and then I do a nice sound selection. Uh, and generally I do shift P, uh, which you'll notice here is under effects, noise reduction, capture noise print. Uh, and then what I do is I do effects. Uh, see that first part there is actually the noise that's there. So uh, reduce noise process. And now I have the noise here. So if I play this and I can't hear that. Um, I have no idea why, likely because the audio is not set properly to go out to that. So I'm going to say edit preferences hardware. And general. Supposedly this is supposed to work. Uh, let's just try it on the speakers though, for instance. Hmm, interesting. There is nothing there. Uh, playback devices. Let us try set default to the this and default communication device. Amazing. Nothing on either. Which means that I need to go and save this and reset it. Awesome. Uh, cancel this. Mm, close this. No doll. I'm going to regret that, but I'll need to re record it anyway. Well, I should need to re record it because I had it, but interesting. Hmm. Auditions being a real bitch recently. Close window. Close window. Hmm. Fine. Task manager. Be a bitch. To audition and task. It's also a 32-bit application, which damn you, Adobe! Adobe! Um, so, let us ensure that the audio is, in fact, working to this. Okay. I heard that. And you probably heard that too through several things. So let me try this again with the test. <sighs> okay. Working now. Oh. Audition. Oh. Delete. Uh, new waveform. Actually, you know what? Let's just do file, open. And of course, everybody has to see this. FICC. There we go. Cool. So, new audio file. And 03 0 1. V2 Topher Bullock, sure. And come on, come on. Really? You're not gonna record? Now you're not fucking recording. Oh, come on! Preferences, audio hardware, device input, yeti, yes. Output. Output via those. Go. Testing the audio from this. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Okay. 
Testing the audio from this. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Yep. Okay, so that definitely works now. Um, and there was absolutely background noise with that, so let's just see if we can turn. Wow, that is down. Really? Huh. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Welcome back, everyone. Our next presenter is Topher Bullock, an agile engineer at Extreme Labs, where he works predominantly on front-end engineering for mobile and desktop web applications. He is obsessed with JavaScript and is a major believer in the coming solidification of HTML5 and ES6 standards. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Topher Bullock. Perfect. Kind of. It'll be redone because I don't like the wording of that. Yeah, there's definitely background noise, which means I'm going to do the shift P out of that. Control shift P. Welcome back, everyone. You see how there's Our nothing there? Our next presenter is Topher Bullock, an agile engineer. If I switch it over only to the noise, it's a very interesting back end. Um, so, and desktop web applications. I'm liking that, and this has actually kept my old settings of the 22. He is obsessed with JavaScript. Yeah, no, I like that. So I'm going to click Apply. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is make sure... Welcome. Yep. Uh, it's a bit loud at the beginning. Everyone. Don't know. Our next presenter. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, cool. So that's that one. Save that. Uh, it saves it as a wave within the current session. But what I want to do technically, because I want to save these files. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to save it where it should be. Uh, to that. Yeah. Okay, that to recording session one. Yes, I do. There we go. Perfect. So now it's saved it up in my Dropbox. Uh, I am done that one there, and we can move on to the next one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Bob Hubel. 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 Bob Hubel. Hubel. I think that's got to be redone anyway, so... Let's just do this one then. So, new audio file. And this one was 04 01 v2. And let's go. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping developers implement what is known as force feedback, tactile feedback, or rumble feedback effects here today to demonstrate how to enhance the user experience through sense of touch. Fuck! Oh, I didn't like that delay. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping developers implement what is known as force feedback, tactile feedback, or rumble feedback effects. Yes. I am currently uh, recording voiceover effects for a conference. Yes. What's up? It's kind of interesting. It's more of a welcome. Our next presenter is a haptic technology haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping developers implement what is known as force feedback tactile feedback, or rumble feedback effects. Here today to demonstrate and enhance our user experience through the sense of touch, please welcome Bob Hubo. I like having fun. <laughs> right? No. Um, so I'm doing a few, ver few variations. One is just my regular voice. One, probably just doing a, a fun little thing with it. Um, but just, you know, enjoying it. So I got a ticket. To, I got a ticket to the conference. It's like a three-day major conference. So <sighs> it's fun. What's up? Hi. Oh, it's <laughs> the week has ended. Come on, man. I, weeks don't have a beginning and an ending. It can. 
some days you feel like a nut, some days you are one. I know. I know. No, it's a lot more fun suck getting your never mind. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No, nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm already the neck deep in a bunch of them. I, there's a few things that I'm working on, but it's, yeah. Uh, you mean quadcopter? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, and I did that last week. That was last Thursday. Have you have you heard of a quadcopter or a, a four-bladed helicopter before? It's a four-bladed helicopter. Where it's, um... What? Oh, no, it's like four blades. That, you know the military drones that they have in Afghanistan and stuff? Not the, not the ones with the wings, but the other ones? The helicopter ones? No. But, um, so these are basically like the consumer version of that. So I have one. Um, I used it back in, I think, oh, yeah, for uh, Heart and Stroke Foundation. Um, and then uh, I ran an event this past week of having a couple developers come in and talk about developing how to control it with just using your browser. So um, it got picked up by a bunch of local stuff. And Mars Commons are big international things. Hosting a lot of my events, so they were very intrigued and interested in it. And, had me use mine at their place as well, and no, well, it went very well. Yeah. Okay. How goes? Yeah. Same cramp, different day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I care. Yeah, of course I'm all right. Okay. Bye. Oh, I'd say sorry, but I'm not. Um, father, gotta give him the phone call, or he gives me the call every once in a while. So, no, I'm not sorry for having that phone call, uh, and quite frankly, I'm probably going to be re-forwarding or fast-forwarding through that section anyway, so you wouldn't even know who that was or what that discussion was. <clears throat> so, that being said, I happen to just notice that uh, the file name on this is wrong, but I don't care as well for that. Um, how was this one? Oh, right. Our next present. Uh, I do need to delete this because of that phone call came in. Cool. So, <clears throat> back up. <sighs> and let's try this again. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping others develop in oh, oh. Our next presenter is a haptic technologist. Fuck. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping others develop in oh. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion. Specializing in helping others develop. No, why do I keep messing that up? It's th Our next presenter is a haptic technology. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with immersion, specializing in helping developers implement what is known as force feedback, tactile feedback, or rumble feedback effects. Here today to demonstrate how to enhance the user experience through the sense of touch. Please welcome Bob Hubel. That wasn't bad. And remove the click. Uh, yep, there we go. Ba. Ba. Uh, control P, control. Oops. It's not control P, it's shift P. Shift P. Control Shift P. 
Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with Immersion, specializing in helping develop. Yep. So developers, we apply. Oh, the other thing I generally like to do as well. Um, so I'm going to save this. One. Actually, no, I'm going to do it to this one here, and then I'll go back into the other one. Uh, so I'm going to say clip. Uh, and what's what's really interesting is the um, under special. There's a vocal enhancer. So. Depending on what you're doing, I've found if I'm doing events or uh, if I'm doing anything that's probably not with this um, and it's not intended to be just voice. Uh, for instance, any of the events that I run for the group or the HTML Toronto group or some of the other ones, if I do apply a filter to those ones when Audition wants to cooperate with me, I, I use music. However, I generally go and I find out what this current setup right now would uh, work better with, either male or music. Female just throws everything off pitch. So let's, let's take a look. Our next presenter is a haptic technology evangelist with Immersion, specializing in helping developers implement what is known as force feedback tactile feedback or rumble feedback effects here today to demonstrate yeah, see, I don't think it needs it if I do it, it it drops things down and I'm I've already got that deep throaty voice anyway so I don't think I'm going to need that um, cool so that's that one I'm gonna say control shift s um, and then I'm going to add the appropriate name after this as well which is Bob Hubel H E A U B E L. Uh, and that was version two. I want to make sure I'm doing this in the right location. Dropbox, recordings. Yeah, that technically is the right one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so if I'm on my Dropbox here, uh huh, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Unless, oh, you. And that is sinking across. And it's going there. Perfect. Okay, so that is going across. Um, yeah, I don't need those PKF files in there afterwards anyway. So that was Bob Hubel. Let us. So that's Sunday. I think I have the Sunday now at least for approvals completed. Um, but let us take a look at doing the Monday now. <clears throat> so Monday. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a quick little management. And that one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so archive the two. <sighs> that was Sunday. Let us do Monday now. Oh, I'm right now we're doing the Carmichael Jackson room. So there isn't that many. I believe there's only four or six per day. So first one's going to be building a web app in 100% JavaScript. Good morning and welcome, blah, blah, blah. Today's first presenter. Okay, so the very first one here is actually going to be uh, a two-parter. Um, now what I generally do as well for anything that isn't a presenter's name, like an introduction, I do zero zero. Um, or what I'm doing technically is because it's the first one of the day, I'm doing um, zero zero being the introduction for the day, zero zero two. So there's a couple of little things. I'm, I'm doing it in order. The first number is the order. The second set of numbers is if it's um, yes or no to the people like if it's a second anyway it's hard to explain first group of numbers is the order in which this is the second set of numbers is the um uh the the order of that certain number so for instance if i have the very first day um going and saying um so if I say on the first day I have an introduction for a good morning and then I have feedback cards and then the introduction, it's 00-01, 00-02, and then 01-01. Uh, even though that's the first block of content, those other two sections can either be reused in another location or they're just they're separated out. And the 00 is the non 
person introducing. But if I had it so that, uh, for instance, um, after Vincent McCurley, after the introduction for him, there's a 02 because he was 01, so 02 dash 00, right? Because the 00 signifies that it's the non about or it's the reminder or it's not an introduction. Um, anyway. Cool. So, pause a bit. Okay. So, first one on Monday is going to be an introduction as well. So, I'm going to say new. Oop, transfer this back over. New audio file. Uh, and this is actually going to be a zero, zero again. Uh, how do I want to name this now? Uh, zero five, actually. Dash zero zero because I was just explaining that do I want to do that zero five whatever um, zero zero dash uh, sorry zero zero v one and enter enter which brings me to this so now what is the line good morning and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013 Good morning, and welcome to day two of FITC. Oh, weird break. Good morning, and welcome to day two of FITC 23. Nope. Good morning, and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another day of fascinating presentations coming your way. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seat so you can be eligible. No, <laughs> eligible, eligible. Illegible. Oh, fuck. Why did I say that? Now I'm going to fucking say that. Good morning, and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another day of fascinating presentations coming your way. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seats so you can be eligible to win some great prizes. All right, so a paragraph of text, that's going to be its own individual audio file. So, again, delete like that. Good morning. Yep. Perfect. Uh, well, not perfect. You get my point. Uh, sh control P, Shift P, Shift P. Yep. Now Control Shift P. Good morning, and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another. Mm, I don't like the introduction to day that. Day of fa really don't. fascinating presentations coming your way. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms. That. No, I don't like. Good morning. I don't like the good morning. I don't like that. That's not the style that they've been asking for. So, good morning and welcome back to day two of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another day of fascinating presentations coming your way. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seats so you can be eligible to win some great prizes. Hmm, I don't know if I like the end of that your seats so you can be eligible to win some great prizes 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 yeah good morning and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013 we have another day of fascinating presentations coming oh that was a weird one good morning and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013 we have another day of fascinating presentations coming your way also Please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seats so you can be eligible for some great prizes. That was much better. That was much better. Delete that. And control P. Oh, did I just control P? Yeah, I did. Shift P. Control Shift P. Good morning and welcome to day two of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another day of fascinating presentations coming your way. Also, yep, perfect. Well, not perfect, because I don't... Anyway, you get my point. Uh, save this to... Um, welcome day two dot wave. Okay. Uh, did I just get mail? I think I did. I did. Uh, damn. Oh, well. Unfortunately, I won't have access to my computer to work Sure. 
Uh, okay, so new audio file. This one's going to be 05. Yeah, 05-01v1. And this is to Carl Bergenheim. Bergenheim. Bergenheim? Bergenheim. Bergenheim. Bergenheim? Bergenheim. Bergenheim. Well, it'll be corrected if not. Damn it. Okay, so again. Again! Let's do a joke one. Joke one that we can get rid of. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating others and various web platforms. Shit. See, this is why I like doing fun ones. Welcome to Casey Kaysen's Top 40. God, he's got a good voice. Uh, let's try this again. Let's get through. Let's get through a joke one. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for the, oh, enthusiasm for these. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solution consultant at Telerik. He is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics whenever he gets the opportunity to do so. Please join us in welcoming Carl Bergenham. How does that sound? I, you know what? Before I do anything, and before I hear it, I actually do want to clean that up just a little bit. And then let's see. Uh, Shift P. Control Shift P. Apply. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solution consultant at Telerik. Oh, he is a so huge bad. fan of HTML, CSS, oh, and JavaScript. So bad. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics no. whenever he gets the opportunity. I gotta do another joke one though. Okay, so let me just do this. Only because this is like I get into it. So if somebody's actually watching this, and if I do put, put this out. God, it's going to be funny. I hope. You can laugh at me, I know. Uh, okay, so back over to this. And... Good morning. And Oh, wait. No, that's the other one. Damn it! See? Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of... Eight, nope. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys enthusiasm. Ha! Oh. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant for Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He also enjoys enthusiasm. Oh. Enjoys? He enjoys. He also enjoys. Gah! Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating others and on... Ah! Fucking others! There's no others in this sentence! It's uh, people. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing en He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating. He enjoys sharing? That doesn't make sense. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm. What? He hasn't he shares his enthusiasm for these platforms. That's he shares his enthusiasm. That's what it should be. He shares his enthusiasm, right? Right? Am I right? Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik. He is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating on... See, and I did it again, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm all like, ah, because of... Argh, argh. Okay. For real this times. For realsies. Yeah. 
Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web topics whenever he gets his opportunity to do so. Please help, please help us in joining in Fudge Sickle. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics whenever he has the opportunity to do so. Please help us in, please help us in welcoming... What the fudge? I'm trying to keep this PG. Uh, please join us... Join us in welcome. Join us in welcome. Please join us in welcoming. Yeah, please join us in welcoming... Carl Bergenheim. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics whenever he has the opportunity to do so. Please ha has the opportunity when he gets the an opportunity when he gets an opportunity when he gets. This this is a whole eh. so let me just um there nah, that's a bit better kind of still today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik he is a huge fan of CSS HTML and JavaScript he enjoys really he is a he is a he is a fuck Ooh, caught that. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics whenever he has the opportunity to do so. Please help us in welcoming Carl Bergenheim. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I think I only messed up one word there, and I don't know if you guys probably even recognized it. So let me just do the cleanup and control P. Damn it! Not control P. Shift P. You're supposed to remind me. Now it's control shift P. And apply. Am I getting any background noise from it? Probably. Because I think I can hear that. No, I can't. Today's first presenter is an enterprise solutions consultant at Telerik and is a huge fan of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. He enjoys sharing enthusiasm for these platforms by educating people on various web-related topics whenever he has the opportunity to do so. Please help us in welcoming Carl Bergenheim. Perfect. No, I was good. I don't mind that. Save that and do 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 demystifying. Hello everyone. Before we get started, just a reminder that if you'd like to join the online conversation, follow FITC Twitter. Follow FITC. Oh yeah. So, don't think I need to redo that one. Do I? Because I think it's the... This one? Before we get started, we kindly asked everyone to complete the feature. No, not that one. Hello, everyone. Before we get started, just a reminder that if you'd like to join the online conversation, follow FITC on Twitter, or use the official event hashtag FITCTO. Don't need to redo that one, then. So, our next presenter is Manny Elawar. Unless... I should also turn that off. Because I'm thinking that you can probably hear that for you. And it's going to be in the stream. Or the video, not the stream. Hmm... I'm going to do that, so I'm going to turn off my fish tank. <laughs> 